Did I miss anything on here? Why can I look at that again? What are you doing? Okay. Uh, I have to walk all the way over here to move down. Okay. Got a secret compartment. Really? Nope. Well, this is more Doom Cop stuff than in last episode. <gasps> hey, stay where you are. <gasps> I, uh, Jack. Wow, it is just unbelievable running into you here. I mean, of all the places. This weather, right? A little damp, I guess. But, you know, some people like that sort of thing. Explain yourself. Now. Okay, okay, okay. I know what it looks like, but before you go jump into conclusions, Crane pays me to water his plants when he's gone. Fucking liar. It's a stipend. But you know I need the work. I wouldn't do it for free, right? You know me. So, anyways, uh, now that I'm done... I don't see any plants. Hey! Okay! You got me. Just take it easy. I don't like being lied to. Okay, okay. I heard Crane was leaving town. I... Figured he owed us little people a parting gift. Or just me a parting gift. You heard? I have my sources, okay? You see how he lives. He doesn't need any of this shit. Have you heard anything about a witch? In connection with Crane? Maybe something about a ring? What are you getting at? What else do you want me to say? I got bills to pay. Not like Crane's gonna use any of this stuff. Did somebody send you? Tell the truth. No, it's just me. Just take it easy. <clears throat> you know, this tortured, lonely pig eater bit's gonna get old eventually. Don't you get tired of it? I mean, what are you even doing here? Are you just wandering around Crane's apartment? I'm investigating. Sure. Well, bitch, twerp. Well, looks like you've got it covered. Anyway, it was really nice catching up with you. I mean that. Bigby, I believe you're uh, blocking the doorway there. If I could just uh, squeeze through. You know, on That'd second thought, involved. it's actually <laughs> funny I ran into you like this. I think I can help you out. Go on, I'm listening. You're looking for Crane's witch, right? Look, I'm not stupid. Big B. Wolf comes in here asking about witches in Crane's apartment. I'm not a mathematician, but I know two plus two is five, am I right? I can tell you who she is. If you're interested. Information comes at a price, though. But I'm sure you already knew that. All right. Tell me. Let's make ourselves a deal. I tell you about Crane's witch, and you forget you saw me here. One hand washes the you other. No, that doesn't jive with me. Wipe the whole incident under the rug. Oh, this is not a negotiation, Jack. This isn't a fucking boxing match either. <laughs> How about this? I'll tell you what I know. Then you can reconsider my offer. Hmm? Her name is Auntie Greenleaf. Crane's been trying to keep it under wraps for years. I'm not sure what he's using her for, but if he's not going to the 13th floor. It's got to be something illegal. How reliable is this information? Are you sure you have the right name? Absolutely. With oh, someone didn't look at the rules. Shit. Wait a minute. Oh, fuck. Wait a minute. How? Got a warning. 
Shut the fuck up. No fake uh, spoilers. No real spoilers. Or else you'll be banned. Without a doubt. Uh, th the thing is, I don't know where you'd find her, exactly. You gotta be fucking kidding me. But even a name is a good start, right? I mean, that's more than what you came in with. Well, if you're asking for it. Right. I'll keep my eyes open for you. If I find anything else you might be interested in, I'll be sure to let you know. Well, uh, I think you've got plenty to keep you busy. So, I'll, uh... <sighs> it was just lovely running into... What do you think you're doing taking that bag, Shane? Hang on a second. Oh, come on. Dear, do you always talk to yourself like that? The witch uses the white deer on everything. It's her symbol or trademark, I guess. Figured I could sell these at the Lucky Pawn. The Lucky Pawn? It's one of the crooked man's places. I work there sometimes. When I need some stability. It's a pawn shop. Get it? Yeah, yeah. You find any more of these? Uh, no. You wanna try that again? Fucking liar. That it? Pick me? Are you still here? We're done here. Fine by me. Who are you talking to? What's he doing here? Evening, Miss White. Good evening. Our friend Jack was caught stealing. Oh, come on! <laughs> Is that right? But he did have some information about Crane's witch. Oh, what did you find out? Her yeah, name he is Greenleaf. Kind of Auntie Greenleaf. But he doesn't know where we can find her. Great. Crane's meeting her at 2 a.m. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fable Town. Of course, because why half-ass being a complete sleazeball? Do you think this is tied to the murders? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter yet. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Crane's meeting Greenleaf Maybe. at 2 a.m. I know where that line's from. And we have well, no idea where she is. I know. We're going to cut it close as it is. We have to figure out where he's meeting her. Wouldn't she be listed in the business office? I've had Buffkin searching for any unauthorized witches, but so far we haven't found anything. I'll give him the name, but we don't have time to wait around. American Psycho. You should try Holly's. She still has all of Lily's things. If she hasn't burned it already. There's still Tweedledee's place. We know they're involved. And we know that's where Bluebeard went. Where do you want to go? We don't have much time. Hmm. I'll go to the Trip Trap, see about Lily's things. I think that's our best option. Sounds good. Hopefully I'll give Buffkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. Hang on, Jack. I want to talk to you. God damn it, he's still trying to take that shit. Get it because they're trolls and trip trapping under the bridge. She's <laughs> asleep, you fucking idiot. You didn't even give me a chance to explain. What's left to explain? Mm. Just, you know what happened. We know what happened. That sounds suspicious. <sighs> God damn it, stop using your Read bad the arm. Sign. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Well, come on in. 
buddy. Friend. What? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Yeah. I'll only be here two minutes. I just need to check through Lily's things. <laughs> Whatever. Uh-oh, I sure hope there's not trouble. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? We should probably should have gone to the office. Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it. You think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Grant, really, you, you shouldn't drink right now. Have you seen Lily's things? What wasn't burned at the funeral? Um, is that stuff supposed to be here, or...? Nope, haven't seen it. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? Well, the doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep, like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Poor yes, he did. He certainly did. But let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. You sure you don't know where Lily's things are? You should care about this, since it's important to the case. What did I, I tell you before? Cigarettes. I'm sure I don't know. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. I'm talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. Whatever. It's all right. I'm too out of it to get into it. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. We're all gonna have a toast. Should I all be leaving now? Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, what? yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. I'm running out of time, Gren. Gren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! I said I was sorry, all right? I can't do anything about it. It's done! <laughs> what more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? I don't want anything from you, Woody. What is the problem here? What stupid shit will you both not let go of? Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Ooh, trick geez. after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay, because I'll tell you what he thinks. He thinks you have to pay chicks to touch your fat, hairy ass. That's what he thinks. 